Hey guys, BX Bricks here. Um, I thought it'd be kind of cool to do like a little Lego haul video. Um, I just ordered about 212 pieces from Bricklink of stuff that, you know, I thought it'd be pretty cool for uh, some uh, up and coming projects. So I just wanted to give a quick rundown of what's going on. Um, you guys have probably already seen my G2 Lambor video up on YouTube and um, this is the actual uh, windshield that I wanted to to build with it or that I designed with it in uh, LDD so as you can see I got about three of those um, I'm gonna make some upgrades to G2 Lambor probably build um yeah you might not have seen the the updates that I've done to them on LDD but they involve some of these flags right here I'm sorry for the horn in the background. Somebody downstairs is really pissed. Um, and I got some more bars over here, some more 4M bars or 4L bars. Um, that's to hold the flags in the back of Lambor. Um, got some of these pieces here too, so I could kind of like solidify the chest area. Like two by four arches like this. It's pretty cool more of the pieces that go under the, the hood that hold the tire um, with the axle and the whole front half of the car together. Um, some more robot arms with an experimenting for a Lambor. I kind of snapped a couple of pieces off. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this, but yeah, you get the drift of what that is. Um, you probably see a lot of purple pieces here. Um, that's going to be for some up and coming uh, I got uh, plans for the Q Transformer, what is it, Shockwave? And I do want to do a mini scale Shockwave. Um, who else is purple? I might do like a mini scale Galvatron. Um, maybe some Cyclonus and all that good stuff. It's not a whole lot of purple, but I mean, it, between that and gray pieces, I should have enough to get the job done. It's just um, some of the simple pieces, like some one by twos, because you know there's not a lot of sets that just have those in there. A couple of one by threes, specifically for the Q Transformer. Some jumper plates, Q Transformer, two by two jumpers. Um, some wedges, some two by one wedges. Some of these nice little two by one um, sloped angular pieces right there. Some one by two flats, one by four flats. I even got this angular piece right here in a deep purple like this is hot I can't wait to use this on something <laughs> um, some more mixels got some lightsaber um, handles which are pretty cool I got like 10 in gray two of them in black so that I could um kind of expand my Gundam line my goal is to be able to build like five of them at one time right now I have three between the Sengoku Astray and the, the, the Kent, the Double O Kent. Um, what is the other one I have? Oh, the the Black uh, Unicorn Gundam. I got that too. Um, some of the red pieces the, that I need for the G1 Lambor. That's going to be pretty fun. Um, now these pieces, this is exclusive. I have not seen this, and I don't know where I came across this. I know it was on Bricklink by this guy that um, I brought everything else from. But this right here, a 1x2 with an axle? I didn't even know this existed. This is going to change the game for making LEGO Transformers right here. Like, you don't know how much engineering I had to like experiment with to get the effect that this one piece is going to give me. And um, I ordered eight of them, but um, I only got four. <laughs> so I paid for eight and got four, but um, it's not a big deal. I mean, I kind of like, once I figured out what to do with these things, I wanted to build two robots with them. But um, yeah, I'm only going to be able to build one at a time, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to come up with some way to finagle a second one out of something. But um, instead of getting the other four, which I, he, he was probably out of stock, or maybe somebody else ordered them and didn't have enough by the time my order was processed. Um, you see these purple grills right here. I ordered 10 of these, 
and that's the first 10 pile. And then he sent another pile of 10, I guess, to kind of compensate for the four that are missing there, along with two of these pieces right here. These are two by six Technic plates, which I probably honestly will never use or, you know, not immediately have a purpose for. Um, I kind of, you know, appreciate the fact that he considered, uh, you know, all the purple that I was ordering and was like, all right, if I'm going to give him something extra, give him some purple pieces. So I, I think that's pretty cool of him. I'm not going to, you know, go crazy and email him like, hey, where's my axles? <laughs> But um, as you can see also, I got some of these uh, yellow gun-like tube things. So I definitely plan on um, doing my G1 Ironhide. If you guys remember, I did my uh, G1 Ratchet um, a while back, months ago. So now I got uh, these things. I didn't want to build the Ironhide until I had these specific pieces. So I figured if I'm going to do a haul, he has these in stock. Why not? Um... So yeah, I'm pretty excited about all of these cool pieces. Believe it or not, I only have, before this haul, one um, 1x4 in blue. <laughs> so I ordered like 16 of these because it was just ridiculous that I have, you know, practically a whole entire laundry bag or a leaf bag full of Legos and only have one of these. Like, that's illogical. I don't know what, how that happened. But, um, yeah, I got some more of these, uh, brick with the, the handle on the side. It's pretty, probably pretty shiny. You can't really tell what's going on there, but, um, you get the gist of what this is. These are what helped me make the shoulders for the Gundams. I got about six of those in white, um, two of them in blue, another six in black. So, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely trying to get my Gundams up to par. I got a few of these, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Travis Bricks here. This is like all he had with Travis Bricks, so I like cleared out his whole inventory with four. Um, and that's pretty much it as far as like, you know, really cool pieces. These pieces, um, are what I use in the, the G2 Lamb or, or that whole design mode, so I got two of them in blue. Maybe I'll make a tracks or something. Um, then I got about ten of them in black. You know, like if I could possibly make all six versions of that mold in one shot, that'll be dope. But of course, I only got three windshields, so maybe I'll do three at a time or something. Also got them in red, and I got them in white because that's pretty much the colors that they use for that, for all of the molds, for that matter. Um, yeah, so, these, Tiger Track, I mean, Tiger Tracks, some yellow flags for the back, cover up his feet, um, so yeah, definitely got some exciting things on the way, and I can't wait to start building, so, definitely stay tuned for that, and, um, just wanted to show you guys one of my hauls, because, I mean, I've, I've done, you know, brick hauls in the past, and, uh, I was like, you know, I never really showed anything. I'm actually going to do another video. Um, not another video, but I'm going to do my first video. Once I get to maybe video 100, I'm going to show you guys my actual brick inventory. It's going to be pretty cool. So, um, once again, I want to thank you guys for watching. And stay tuned for some more awesome LEGO creations. Also, if you guys do not know yet, I have a second YouTube channel. Yes, it's... um by my, my company now, and I'm expanding what I'm doing, um, it's called Bricks Media Studios, and I got a website, but it's not up yet, but um, this company is featuring my second YouTube channel, which is going to be, you know, pretty much revolving around the architecture line, and I'm now selling instructions for my, um, my modular buildings. And on this channel, you're going to be able to learn how to build some of the furniture pieces that I put in the modular buildings. Right now, I have the first video up, and it teaches you how to build a functioning Lego futon. So, um, I think that'll be pretty cool. If you guys want to go over and check that out, if, you, if you're interested in it, subscribe. You know, that way you stay in touch with that. I'm going to be building a bunch of new pieces for that, so that, you know, I can try to get those videos up. 
so to keep you guys in the loop of what's going on and um like i said stay tuned for more cool stuff peace